stochastic calculus for finance one. This is chapter five on the random walk. So first, uh, I have to apologize. I haven't been posting videos for a while. Um, that's due to some personal things happening in my life. Uh, I had I had a good uh, a good a good job and a new job in a different way, different city. And after moving there, uh, the first six months I had to focus on work and make sure I perform. So I didn't really have time to uh, you know, to do videos. But now here I am. So let's go. So in this chapter, we're going to be talking about a few things. So first, we start by defining what we call the symmetric random walk. Then with that definition, we're going to go and study the first passage of time, what we should call Tau M in section 5.2. And then we talk about the reflection principle, which is actually useful when to buy some de de uh, executive uh, derivative security. And finally, in section 5.4, uh, we're going to use everything that we learn here to really price a perpetual American option. And by perpetual, we mean an American option that never expires, basically, which is kind of exotic and interesting. Okay, so let's talk about this symmetric. Uh, let's talk about the random walk first. So we will first like start by constructing the random walk so we can understand exactly what this thing is. So imagine that you just repeatedly toss a coin. You keep tossing the coin, right? And then whenever you toss the coin, you not you, you denote the outcome essentially. And we can denote this in a general term that will be omega 1, omega 2, omega 3, where, for example, omega 2 is the outcome of the second coin toss, either the tail or the head. Then from here, we define a random variable. And from here, we define a random variable that we're going to call xj. And this random variable is basically uh, going to be 1 if we get a head, or it's going to be minus 1 if we get a tail. And then we define like another variable where uh, m0 is going to be starting at 0 at the beginning. And we're going to call mn essentially the, the sum of all the these xj that we define up to the point of time m. Then the this process that we call the mn defined by n equal to 0, 1, 2, etc. is called a random walk. And we define essentially what the process is uh, in, the, in our previous in, in the previous videos. Right, so now let's give more color to this and we'll be an example. Imagine that you have a coin and you toss it five times. And when you toss it, what you got is basically, you got first, you got a head, and then you toss it second time, you got a tail, tail, tail. And then finally, on the fifth coin toss, you get a head. So this will, the random walk that, uh, the path of the random walk that we, that's, that's, uh, Implied by this, basically this, this coin toss is defined on this, is shown on this picture, uh, on this picture here, and it's very easy. So m zero is zero, right? So as you can see, we're starting at zero. Then when you first, when you toss the first coin toss, we actually get a head, right? And head is plus one. So m one is essentially x h uh, one, which is just one basically, right? It's like the sum of one, just just one. So we go up. Right. The next one coin toss, uh, we get a tail, right? And so this this stochastic process is just the sum of x h, uh, f h uh, one, and then as a point two tail. So this is one minus one. So essentially we go one here, and then we go down because we get a tail. And then third coin toss, we got a tail, so we go down again. Uh, the fourth we got the tail, we go down, and finally we go up. So that's essentially really what this thing is. Uh, should I try to make it more complicated than it really is? It's, it's really simple. So let's note a few things. So if the if we need a coin toss, right, the probability of getting a head and the probability of getting a tail are equal. Basically, if like the 50 50-50 chance of getting head or tail, the coin is fair. Then we call basically MN this random walk is called a symmetric random walk. Now, what if basically the coin was not was not fair, right? Something like this. Then we call M and a process that says, uh, we call this uh, asymmet asymmetric random walk, pretty much. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a very short video on the section 5.1. Um, nothing great to say. So see you next time on uh, 5 point, section 5.2, where I'll be talking about the first passage of time. Thank you very much. And again, uh, I will appreciate a lot if you comment, like the video, and. Let me know if there's any or anything else that's not clear or
anything else that you want me to go through i will try to make more videos going forward thank you very much guys don't forget to subscribe also bye bye